So, um, Candace Owens has been getting a lot of shit online because she snuggled up to Kanye West. Kanye West had entered a deal with her husband to buy Parler, uh, another one of these social media sites or whatever. Uh, by the way, that fell through when Kanye went full mask off Nazi, I love Hitler type shit. But, um... Apparently, Candace Owens been getting a lot of flack on social media. People are like, well, "Fuck you!" You know, you should you should call out Kanye for this. What's your take on you know this Nazi love, this Nazi praise? Now, remember, she's employed by the Daily Wire, which is Ben Shapiro's outlet. Ben Shapiro is very anti Kanye, of course, and uh, very pro DeSantis. Candace was pro Kanye and pro Trump. There, you know, a little bit of uh, disagreement there. Um, but it got to the point where uh, Ben and and Candace were sort of sniping back and forth. Uh, in public, on social media. They would go at each other a little bit. So obviously, they're, things are a little rocky at the moment. Well, Candace snapped because people keep calling her out over her close association with Kanye as Kanye descends into total madness and pro-Nazi talking points. Let's see how she handles it. I'm sure she'll handle it well, given her track record. I think it should be abundantly obvious, based on the way that I cover news topics and the way that Ben Shapiro covers news topics and our varying opinions, not just me and Ben, me and Matt and Michael Knowles, that nobody is controlling the other person. I mean, what examples do you need? Ben was very pro-vax. His wife is a doctor. He likes vaccines. He's vaxxed his children. He got the COVID vaccine. I was staunchly and remain staunchly against not just the COVID vaccine, all vaccines. I am a proud non-vaxxer. I did not vax my children. I believe that the big pharma collusion has been happening for a very long time. I respect Ben's right to get vaccines and to vax his children. All right, let me just, just real quick, let me interject here to be like, I love how her first example of her disagreeing with Ben is like, here's an issue where Ben is objectively correct and I'm dead wrong. <laughs> like, you're not, you're not really helping your case when you say that. And this idea, by the way, oh, you know, big pharma. You can be against big pharma while also acknowledging that antibiotics work if you have a bacterial infection. There's no contradiction there, okay? I'm in favor of nationalizing big pharma. Get the profit motive out of it completely. No more capitalist mafia sharks at the top price gouging everybody. But that doesn't mean that vaccines don't work, antibiotics don't work, that, you know, a lot of the therapeutics don't work. They do. They do work. So I hate this, like, LARPing, this posturing is like, actually, we're the ones who are tough on big pharma. No, you're fucking not, because all these people who were anti-vax also sucked off the monoclonal antibodies, which was also made by a big pharma company. There's massive contradictions, and also a lot of these people run into the arms of alternative medicine, which, by the way, a lot of the alternative medicine stuff is a bunch of quacks with no evidence backing up their shit whatsoever, and they're all grifting to shake people down and make money off unproven cures. Anyway, I digress. But I disagree with that. Ben was a supporter, is a supporter, I guess, of President Zelensky and what's happening in Ukraine. He believes Ukraine has a right to defend itself against Russia. I believe that it's all part of a money laundering operation and that President Zelensky is no better than Putin. I she literally teed that up as like, Ben believes that Zelensky has a right to defend Ukraine from Russian invasion. And she's like, disagreeing with that. <laughs> what? Look, I understand. I think it's a reasonable opinion to be like, it's not the U.S.'s fight. We shouldn't, you know, fund or arm uh, the resistance, especially when there's some unsavory characters and Nazis in the resistance. But of course, Ukraine as a sovereign state has a right to defend themselves from an illegal and offensive invasion. But that's not what she's saying. She's not even saying that. She's saying, like, Zelensky's just as bad as Putin. And she's, like, obfuscating on the question of whether or not Ukraine can even defend itself. Like, what the fuck? Then Putin. I believe that what is happening over there is us moving from Afghanistan, the money that we were spending every single day, and it's a part of the military-industrial complex. And so I do not support... The military-industrial complex. I would love to see her track record on all the other wars, by the way. She probably supported every one up until this one, by the way. And to be fair, it is true. This has become a military-industrial complex slush fund where we've sent $80 billion or so to Ukraine, and Raytheon has got a raging boner over this, and, and you know, uh, the rest of them... Honeywell raging boner over this. So it is true that the military industrial complex is using this, capitalizing on this, um, and making a lot of profit off of it. And that whole perverse incentive structure is wrong. So I agree with condemning that, and we shouldn't have the military industrial complex. Um, but at the same time, it's also true that Ukraine has a fucking right to defend itself against an illegal and offensive invasion. Anything in Ukraine. We don't agree on many topics. And if we did and he was controlling me, he would be doing a very bad job of controlling me based on what we talk about. And I think that it was really crappy 
for somebody who is a friend of mine. I say that on a platform. But I also think it's really crappy for everybody to keep thinking that I have to answer and agree with every single thing that Gay says. I am not his spokesperson. This is so dishonest. I am not Kim de Balenciaga. All right. I am not working on that campaign. Please stop tagging me in every single thing that he says and saying that my silence is violence. I, of course, do not agree with every single thing that Ye says. I don't agree with every single thing that I say. When I look back four years, I go, you know what? I have a different perspective on this. And I would and I'm, <laughs> I'm, I would like to be able to amend my former perspectives. It would be the easiest fucking thing in the world to do a simple segment going through some of Kanye's more insane statements, his Hitler love, his Nazi love, and just breaking it down. And saying, well, that's fucking crazy. Well, this is wrong, and let me explain why this is wrong. This is historically inaccurate. This is not, a, you know, a, a good representative of right-wing politics. This is somebody who loves Trump. Well, I love Trump, too, but we definitely disagree on this, and let me explain why. Let me explain how this is not in keeping with what is Trump's legacy or whatever the fuck. It would be so easy to debunk pro-Nazi shit is like... The easiest shit in the world is a political commentator. It doesn't get easier than that. But she won't do it. Instead, she's triggered that people are asking her. Look, of course people are going to ask. You snuggled up to this dude. You've defended this dude a bunch of times. And by the way, she looks like a fool. She looks like a fool because you defended him when you thought he wasn't going full Nazi. Oh, people are misinterpreting what he said. He's just a genius who's misunderstood. He's actually brilliant. He's not saying the thing you think he's saying. And then he says the thing that we thought he was saying all along. And now you're like, me, bro? Why am I supposed to talk about this? I'm, I'm under no obligation whatsoever, dog. Fuck you. No, Candace. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's a reasonable ask. You should address it in a more serious way, but you're not going to do it. And it's pathetic. And, um... I'm sure Ben Shapiro is watching this going, you Weasley little prick. But um, who knows how this is going to end. Look, at some point, I can't imagine the relationship between Ben and Candace or Candace and Daily Wire lasts long term. I mean, it's got to be under five years, right, when, when they have some huge falling out because primary is coming. You're going to have Trump versus DeSantis. Uh, ben and, and Matt Walsh and a bunch of others are all in on DeSantis and... Um, Candace was more pro-Trump, but recently soured on him, looked like she was kind of pro-yay. Now, obviously, that's complicated now because she can't go all in with him being pro-Nazi when Ben is, you know, super critical of Kanye. There's all these things. So I can't I, I see no way out. There's no way their relationship is going to last long term. She even said right there, like it was crappy when like Ben called me out on social media. Ben disagreed with some dumb shit you said. Because his job is political commentator also, and you're a political commentator who works for him, and he wanted to make clear, I don't agree with this shit that she's saying. And she's, like, offended by that, like it's personal. No, bitch, stop saying dumb shit. And then he wouldn't have to come out and say some shit. So, I can't imagine their relationship lasts long term, but clearly she's struggling, and of course she's handling this in the most dishonest way possible. Be the easiest thing in the world to play some of Kanye's clips and debunk it and, and disagree strongly, but she won't do it. Because she has a personal relationship with Kanye, um, and she doesn't want to, you know, ruin that. So she's taking this Weasley, you know, middle path, and everybody sees it for what it is. All right, guys, that is the show for you today. Like I said, it's in a little bit of an abbreviated show, all because uh, we are doing a live show tonight. So we have uh, Boston tonight. Come check it out if you're in the Boston area. Come watch us. It's going to be myself, Crystal, Sager, and maybe Marshall. I'm not sure if Marshall's going to be there, but... I will be there. Your boy will be there. I know it's gross weather. It's supposed to be rainy and all that stuff. I know that sucks, but come out and support your boy. We'll have some fun. Hopefully half the audience will be secular talk folks, not just breaking points folks. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you there. Anyway, everybody hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon so you get a notification every time something drops. You guys know the spiel. I go through it at the end of every show. Uh, and a big shout out to everybody who supports this show on Patreon. You guys make it work. Everybody who supports the show, Crystal Kylan Friends on Substack, you guys make it work. Um, Love you guys from the bottom of my heart, man. Thanks for listening to me babble all day, every day. I really appreciate that. And um, yeah, if you want to listen to this in podcast version, it's available on um, Spotify and you know wherever you get podcasts. So love y'all. I'll talk to you soon. Everybody have a good one. Peace. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.